Hello, my name is Dr Peter Main. I'm a GP on the north coast of New South Wales, Australia. I would like to give you a brief introduction to this article titled Emerging Incidence of Lyme Borreliosis, Babesiosis, Spartanellosis and Ehrlichiosis in Australia. This publication is the result of investigations on a cohort of 51 patients of my practice in the last two years who have had serum forwarded to America for serological testing of Lyme disease and associated co-infections at a major reference laboratory for tick-borne diseases, Igenix. It was not possible for me to get Babesia or Bartonella studies in Australia that included PCR analysis. Of the 51 patients, four have never left the continent. These four collectively showed mixed infections of Borrelia, Babesia microtii, Babesia duncanii and Bartonella henselii. This finding of endemic infection of all these diseases is of crucial importance from a public health perspective and also from the perspective of Australian medical professionals. Both groups need to now recognise the existence of these infections on the continent. I am convinced that many more of these 51 patients contracted their infections here in Australia. I base this on the delay in symptomatology for years sometimes after overseas travel and in other cases of immediate onset of symptoms following a recognised tick bite. There were four people in the study found with ehrlichiosis who had extensive and recent travel history overseas. No conclusions can be drawn as to where the infection was contracted. However, it is equally clear people are arriving back in Australia with this group of infection following tick bite, thus creating a public health problem and also a need for recognition of the disease by the medical professional. There is discussion on how the CDC has changed its website statements about needing five bands on Western blot analysis and how that should only have been used for case surveillance. In particular, it says no one should be excluded from treatment because they have less than five bands evident. It also clearly states now that there is a component of clinical diagnosis of Lyme disease with negative serology. I trust you will get benefit from reading this article and appreciate you viewing this video. Thank you.